Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself key repair video today. I'm working on a smaller, this is a 13.3 inch HP Envy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take off a normal size key and then how to put it back on without breaking it. Uh, we're doing this because on a lot of these kind of keyboards, they don't just screw on and screw off, so you cannot easily replace this keyboard. If you do take this keyboard off, you've basically broken the palm rest and the next one just won't fit on very securely. So that's why I'm gonna show you how to uh, put a key on versus swapping out the entire keyboard. Also, I'm showing you how to take one off because sometimes you can't find loose keys for sale. Um, you have to purchase an entire used keyboard and then take a key off of that for yours. So now I'm gonna show you how to take one off and how to put one on. So I'm gonna take my small flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna place it in between the key cap, which is this top part and the retainer clip underneath. And the idea here is to hold down the retainer clip while I take off my keycap so that the clip doesn't bend and break as I peel it off. So go slow, feel your way out. You can see that came off fairly easily. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down that clip. Uh, watch out for this rubber spring that's only held on by glue and it's very hard to get back down if you do rip it up or damage it. Uh, the retainer clip is right here. It's usually white or black. Uh, this one's sort of a, a clear color. And it's held down generally the same way. There'll be either four metal pins near each corner, or it will look like this. There'll be two metal pins near two of the corners. And then on the opposite side, there'll be one metal bracket in the middle. And that's how this is held down. Now what I'm gonna try to do to take this up is find the pins closest to the edge, which in this case are the ones up top. And side note, if you have one center metal clip, you're gonna be going for the opposite uh, two pins. And I'm gonna press up with my fingernail, try to get some more give, while I slowly try to pry the plastic out from under the metal. Uh, very dangerous, you could easily break it. If you do break it, it'll probably be at this point. So I'll take it off, and then I'll show you real quick what it looks like, what we're watching out for. So press up, gently pull that out. There we go. Move this over. Okay, so see these two plastic pins that poke out near the corners? That's what I was trying not to break. Uh, these are what are wedged underneath the metal clips. These are very small, very weak, very easy to break if you don't slide them out from under the metal. If you just try to pop it up, they'll snap off. So that's what I was trying not to break. So now we'll go ahead and put this back on. So we're gonna go in reverse. I'm gonna lay the thing down, get the bottom underneath its metal pins first, so the opposite side that you took it off. And then once you see that it's centered enough, all you should have to do is press in on the top corners to snap it in, just like that. And then you bring your key cap over, place it, again, try to get it centered, and then press. And it snaps So that's into how place. you would replace a standardized, uh, a standard size key on an HP Envy keyboard. 13.3 uh, inch. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I try to get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, also, um, if you're looking for a larger key, enter, space, shift, larger keys. They obviously are going to look different underneath. So check out the video link below in the description on, on how to take off a, a larger uh, HP key. Uh, but like and share if this was helpful. And uh, subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.